Now, in this tutorial series, what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to assume that you guys have never created an Android app before, but you guys do have some programming experience. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to develop Android apps for both the phone and the tablet from the ground up. So that's what we're going to be doing, creating some awesome apps, someone that is totally new to Android app development. However, before I begin, I want to mention this. For those of you who have been following my YouTube channel for a long time, you probably already noticed that I have another um, Android app development tutorial series. And the reason that I decided to make a brand new one is because that tutorial series, we actually made it a couple years ago. And since then, a lot of the software and tools that you use to develop these apps have been updated. Actually, we have a brand new piece of software called Android Studio. And I'll show you guys how to install that and use it and everything. But the software itself is a lot different than what we use to teach um, Android development in the past. So again, this tutorial series is pretty much just going to be updated, new, kind of more relevant. So that's why I decided to do that. So anyways, I'm going to be quiet now and let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing we need is, of course, the Java JDK. Now, I'm guessing that if you guys are watching this, then you already are familiar with Java, at least a little bit. And you probably already have the Java JDK installed on your computer. However, just to make sure that I cover everything 100%, if you don't have the Java JDK already installed on your computer, this is how you get it. And of course, I probably should mention this, why do we need the Java JDK if we're making Android apps? Well, all Android apps, as well as a lot of the software itself, is made using Java. That's what language we're gonna write in primarily to make these Android apps, so of course, the Java JDK, which stands for the um, Java Development Kit, is the core foundation that we need before we can even think about making any Android apps. So the website always changes, but if you go to Google and type in download Java JDK, then the first thing that's always gonna pop up is the link to download this Java Development Kit. Now, if you click right here, what we want is this Java platform JDK right there. However, whenever we click here, we see that we have a lot of Java development kits that are avail available for download. All right, so we know that we don't want Linux because I'm not on Linux. Um, we know that we don't want Mac. So we have a couple options here, Windows x86 and Windows 64. Now, the difference between these two is 64 is for the Windows 64 bit version and the 86 is for the 32 bit version of Windows. So if you don't know what version of Windows you have, go to the start menu and where you see computer right here, right click it and then you're gonna see a thing called properties. Whenever you select that, if you look at your system type, it says, okay, 64 bit operating system. So that means I have a Windows 64 bit so whenever I download this, I'm going to choose 64. If yours says 32, then click this one right here. But of course, you need to accept the agreement first and then download it. And what it's going to do is it's going to download an executable file and it's going to take a while. So I'll pause my video. You know, I won't make you watch the whole thing. And we are back. It took about a minute, but now I just download the entire executable. And of course, if you're on Chrome, which you probably should be, highly recommend it, then go to your downloads and you can just click that. However, if you accidentally close out of that, then of course your downloaded files, if you go to your, well, I'll just show you guys. All right, you can either go to your computer from Windows Explorer and click downloads. That's probably the easiest way, so just do that. So anyways, whatever file you just downloaded, double click it, and then of course, I actually don't know if you could see that. I don't know if my screen recorder um, showed my system little pop-ups there. But it says, do you want to allow this to you know, um, access your computer? Yes. Let me close out all this. All right, so this is really self-explanatory. If you ever download anything before, then it's going to be simple. Just click Next, Next, and it's going to do all the hard work for you. However, there's, there's one thing, once this is completely done, that... Um, you guys need to follow along with so um, again if you think about skipping this entire tutorial 
don't do that because you're going to miss an important step at the end. So wait for this entire thing to la 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 whatever. Alright, and what you want to do is you want to make sure to leave everything in its default location. Because as long as you do that, and as long as you follow along, then whenever you um, install, download and install Android Studio, it's not going to be confused looking at some weird location for anything. So make sure that you keep all the default settings whenever you're running this installer. Alright, so now we have the JDK installed on our computer. However, before we download Android Studio, what we need to do is we need to tell our computer exactly where it is. And that's because later on when we develop, or excuse me, when we download Android Studio, it's going to look for that JDK. So what we need to do is we need to explicitly say, hey computer, this is where the JDK is. So go to your start menu and then click on computer and then make sure you're starting at your hard drive so in order to get the path to this as long as you kept everything at default during installation it's going to be in your program files and then if you go down to java double click that and what folder you want to click on is actually the jdk this is um, the java runtime environment the jre don't worry about that double click the jdk ugh, jdk and this is actually the path you want so what you can do now is you can actually right click any of these files but um because it's going to give you the same path what I'm about to show you guys but just for consistency right click this bin and click properties so again this is the location that you're looking for right here the location that your Java development kit is at so copy that right click and copy and now once you have that location close out of everything because we have to tell our computer alright this is where our JDK is so how do we do that it's actually pretty simple if you open your start menu again and right click computer and go to properties you're gonna see a link on the left hand side that says advanced system settings if you click that you're gonna see this little pop-up right here click on the button that says environment variables so I already have this set up because actually for this tutorial I uninstalled my Java JDK and then I reinstalled it so you know just to show you guys how to do it but you're probably aren't gonna have a variable set up right here so in order to get that click new under user variables and you need to name the variable Java underscore home make sure that everything is in capital letters and then for the variable value paste in that location of your JDK and hit OK. So what we're essentially doing is we're telling our computer, all right, whenever you need to work with the Java JDK, or the JDK is kind of redundant what I'm saying, but whenever Android Studio is looking for it, then it's going to look in your environment variables and it's going to say, okay, that's where all the crap I need is. So, you know, it's not literally going to say crap, but, you know, now that we have everything confirmed, compatible and our computer is able to find and work with the Java JDK JDK it's probably getting annoying that I keep saying that but whatever we are now set up and ready to move on to the next step so thank you guys for watching and I also want to mention this before I let you guys go if you guys have any questions during this entire tutorial series about anything small including you know a little bit of code or anything big like um, maybe you have an error while you try to install something then go to my forum and under this section right here Java and Android development if you click that you can create a new post and then you can ask it right there and a lot of people are always here willing to help you can also browse some of the common topics and um, there's a lot of good information in here as well so chances are if you have a problem someone already asked it and they already figured it out but if you uh, can't find your answer then go ahead and create a new post again I am always on this website and a bunch of other people loving to help you out so for now um, thank you guys for watching in the next video we'll go ahead and download and install Android Studio alright guys so the next thing we have to do is download Android Studio now the website is most likely going to change because they always do however if you